Okay, guys. Um, I'm sorry if you can't hear me super well at this time. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is, is that you will need a respirator or some sort of mask when painting with pastels. Such as this. Um, the reason why is because pastel is very fine dust and you do not want to get that stuff in your lungs. It is toxic in your lungs and it can cause severe problems such as ammonia and other crap because you got all this stuff in your lungs. Um, it's not a good idea to breathe it. It's not good for your lungs, so wear a mask, okay? So I know you guys can't hear me very well, but I will do the best I can to show you what to do um, with the stuff in here and so forth. But I'm going to go ahead and another thing I like to do is I like to turn on a fan on just low. The reason why is because it also keeps the room a little bit cooler and it'll also blow the dust away from me. So the fan is over there, so it'll blow the dust that away. Okay? Alright, so you're going to have to bear with me here. I have to set up the camera. I can't find my tripod, so I'm doing the best I can here. Okay, guys, so hold on one second. Okay, I'm assuming you guys can see me, right? Okay, so I took off my respirator just because I need to talk to you guys about um, some things and so forth on what to do. Um, so forth. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to need our pan here. And I always like to dar start with the darker areas of a blue realm. Um, generally with a blue realm, there's usually anywhere from 6 to... 12 colors in their coat and really they're not blue they are more on the gray side than anything um, and the main colors that I like to do because a lot of blue rounds actually their legs are darker legs and then usually all the way down their face this whole area here will usually be uh, black very black um, but it does depend on the horse. Of course, if the horse is actually graying out more, which some blue roans will, they will gray out extremely dark or extremely light. So it goes either way. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your black pastel stick, take your scissors, and gently take the pastel dust and rub the scissors on the pastel stick to get a fine powder. You're going to need quite a bit of this. So, make a big pile. <laughs> you know, not a huge pile, not use up the whole stick, but, you know, just a moderate amount there, if you can see that. So now what we're going to do is we are going to hold our model either by the tail, which I can with this horse, or by a back leg, okay? Um, you can hold them on the front leg, uh, but... I like to hold my horses on the tail. Now the reason why I'm not wearing a glove like I usually do is because I've had a problem lately with being allergic a little bit to latex. Um, usually I'm not allergic to latex, but for some reason uh, lately I've been allergic to it and I think it might be from um, you know allergies and pollen and I think it's just kind of associated with that more than anything. Um, but usually it doesn't bother me, so I don't know what's up, but whatever. Um, okay, so you're going to need your brush, like this one here. Um, you can also use Q-tips. I don't have any at this time, so I'm going to rely mostly on my brushes here. Um, I also have a brush like this, which is uh, pretty, a little bit harder and shorter. And what you do is you dab your brush in the pastels. And I'm going to start with his little face here. And we're going to start rubbing on... the pastels.
Now, there's two ways that you can blow off the dust on the model. You can either use a compressor. Oh, there goes the phone. Uh, you can use a compressor. Why does it always ring once? That's weird. Um, you can use a compressor to blow off the dust. Or you can use a soft brush to uh, take the dust off. But lately I've been using the compressor because it's a little bit easier for me to do so. And it doesn't take a lot of the dust away is what I, you know, what I want. But um, it does work very well. And it also prevents streaking from a brush and uh, so forth. So. so you can see here I've just started to put on the pastel dust. And I'm going to take it all the way down his neck. All the way down. Just like this. And you can also blow it off, you know, just to see where you are. But you can see here that he's gotten a little bit darker. Now I'm going to go ahead and do his legs. Now, for the rest of his body, I'm actually going to be using a lighter color gray than um, this black. And the nice thing about pastels is, is that they blend so nicely that you really don't have to worry too much about strange colors. Um, and so forth so but usually they they blend pretty nice and and I don't worry too much about um, you know strange colors now of course if you try to mix red and blue together which is not a uh, color that you want to try to do unless you did a fantasy horse but I'm just giving an example you know they don't blend well because they're not in the same color category which would be like light beige or copper color or you know red with gold you know things like that they have to be in kind of the same genre but gray is a very easy color to work with because it's so forgiving for the most part now of course if you haven't oh my gosh what is up with the phone today I don't know um, once. Okay, that's weird. Um, so, yeah, but you can see here I'm starting just to put the black on his legs. Now, the area where the black is is going to be the darkest points, the horse. The rest of it is more going to be kind of a light gray copper color, or more of a, not really copper, um, more, what would be a color? An example of that. Oh, there's not many gray things, is there? Okay, maybe like a piece of stone or something. Alright. So this is the part here on his legs, like that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush and I'm actually going to pull all this black dust over here in the corner. I'm going to get out a lighter shade of gray, which usually I go from the fourth one down from black, or the third, depending. Make a little pile of the gray color. Take my big fat brush, 
dip it and start rubbing it over the horse. Now remember, you want to try to go with the growth of the hair, okay? Um, you know, such like this. So the growth of the hair will be going down here, you know, down the shoulders, under the belly. Now, this same technique, you would do the same thing with the red rum, except it would only be on the red side than the gray side. Um, so it would be the same technique, just different colors. You know, the, the brown would be the darkest points of the horse um, on the legs and face. And then usually there is sometimes a little bit of copper in the color of the coat. Um, which is, you know, it's a very pretty color. Um, I've actually seen quite a few very pretty red rums lately for sale, which I'm surprised at because usually most people really like the red rums and they usually sell pretty quickly. But for some reason, these guys haven't gone yet. So I think it probably has to do with their training. But either way, um, you can see here, I just kind of put a light coat of this gray on and of course it's not going to look any difference in the camera but in reality it's um, very light now do take in mind that when you do spray the model it will get darker okay of course I gotta get under her tail here up between her legs stuff like that okay so I think I'm good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the camera, spray her off with the air, go outside, map finish her, and continue on. Okay?